Let's be honest, we've all spoken to Google Gemini and Chat GPT in English. But what if you wanted to have a very fluent conversation in Hindi, Kannada, Marathi, or Tamil? How contextual and personalized would that chatbot be? Would you get the right responses? Would it get the right nuances, the grammar? That's what we want to find out because Gemini Live has now gone live with a bunch of languages, nine languages actually, and you can have that conversation with your favorite chatbot in regional Indian languages. So there's Gemini and of course there's also Chat GPT. How do the two stack up against each other? Is it a natural conversation that makes your life a whole lot easier or is it just a party trick that will eventually fade away? Let me tell you a whole lot more. Google's AI-powered mobile assistant now offers a new level of help, all whilst being a lot more natural, conversational and intuitive. We reported on Tech Today last week that at Google for India, the company announced a bunch of India-centric features, with the most notable one being support for Indian languages with Gemini Live. Now, you can just open Gemini Live and start a conversation in Hindi with ease. You can ask your questions and Gemini will respond. Just take a look at this. Dono team mein koi bhi khiladi injured hain, aap ye jankari de sakti hain. खिलाड़ियों के चोटिल होने की खबरें तो चलती रहती हैं, लेकिन अभी तक ऐसा कुछ नहीं पता चला है जो इस मैच को प्रभावित कर सके। Now for the uninitiated, Gemini Live is that conversational way of chatting with Google Gemini. ChatGPT has a voice assistant as well. This has a bunch of languages, a bunch of voices, and really makes everything easy with live transcriptions. I use it all the time. But if I want to talk about 40% of Gemini's Indian language users already rely on voice interactions. I do too. Google says that as well. And the company also announced support for eight more languages. That's Bengali, Gujarati, Kannada, Malayalam, Marathi, Telugu, Tamil, and Urdu. I tried it out by asking it to wrap a couple of lines in Marathi, and here's how that panned out. Fair enough, I think that's a good one, but now can you say that to me in Marathi and make it a bit poetic? Now, the inclusion of Indian languages will only increase the use of Gemini's voice interactions as people will feel more comfortable conversing in their preferred languages. All of us can now use Gemini Live in these languages. The only catch is you need an Android phone. Download the free Gemini app from the Google Play Store, open the app, and tap the live button at the bottom of the screen. Start talking, that's how easy it is. When we talk about AI, there's also hallucinations or inaccuracies. I think AI understands that as well. When we've spoken to the top AI experts around the world, like Professor Stuart Russell, he tells us that it's like good dog, bad dog. You have to tell AI what it's doing right, what it's doing wrong. It's like a very young, confused child. So when we did ask, Google Gemini, a bunch of questions in Hindi and Marathi, we realized that there was some factual inaccuracies. For instance, when we spoke about Liverpool Football Club and I asked about the upcoming match, it gave me a wrong date. That's my favorite football team. It also gave me some wrong information and tried to be very, very evasive and prevaricate when I asked about the injuries in the squad as well. Cut to Chad GPT, the other contender in this space, and we got those answers, although we thought Google's data sets should be more updated. Also, we were using Gemini Advance. That means it is a pro subscription, whereas we were using Chad GPT in its standard sense. Mm -hmm. Liverpool's next match is on the Sunday of October 20th, 2024, when they will face Chelsea yeah. in Premiership. The game will kick off at 30pm UK time. After that, they will play Arbor Leipzig in the Champions League on Wednesday, October 20th, 2024. Now, if you talk about ChatGPT versus Gemini Live, it's very interesting because ChatGPT is been embroiled in a lot of controversy, especially with the Scarlett Johansson piece. That voice is not available anymore. In fact, if you don't have a pro subscription, you only have a bunch of voices that you can use. There's a monthly limit for ChatGPT's voice interaction, which doesn't exist with Gemini 
live. However, ChatGPT did not make a mistake when I asked it about Liverpool's next football match. It also correctly mentioned which players were likely to miss the game due to injury, something that Gemini Live was very diplomatic about, like I said earlier. For the upcoming match against Chelsea, Liverpool will be missing key goalkeeper Alisson Becker due to a hamstring injury. Um, he is expected to be sidelined for about six weeks, but the sustaining injury will be seen again to get to Crystal Palace. Okay, that was an interesting clip, but one thing where Google Gemini Live has the upper hand is its availability across Google's hardware, most notably on the Pixel Buds Pro 2. If you use Gemini Live on your buds, you just say, hey Google, let's talk live, or tap and hold the earbud and then say, let's talk live. And you can use Gemini Live on these particular buds, which we've been using, and I will give you a full review on Tech Today's website and our social media channels. The Google Pixel Buds Pro 1 were outstanding now with the Gemini Live capability and the sound, they're amazing. The one thing I didn't like was the case earlier on. I did end up damaging my previous Buds Pro, but this one seems like a similar case. The Buds look fantastic and now they come with this AI functionality. Is that the trend now though? We're seeing nothing Buds as well coming with ChatGPT integration. You can do that on your AirPods if you use the action button for ChatGPT, but there are times when ChatGPT has been stuttering and fumbling. Gemini Live, barring that inaccuracy that we came across, and I think that's something where it is open to criticism. A lot of us are not open to criticism, but Gemini Live and ChatGPT are. They do accept when they've gone wrong. They are, well, open to being corrected, and I think that's an interesting space to be. It's learning, machine learning happening at such a rapid pace that we need to keep up at times. The one thing I like about Gemini Live and for a while we've liked about ChatGPT is how natural and conversational they're becoming. You can interrupt either of these chatbots during the voice mode and have a conversation like you would with a normal person. They're very, very accepting, very open and more importantly, like I said, they can be corrected as well. The animations are amazing. I think Gemini Live's gotten that right. Both of these chatbots give you a transcript in your particular language. So if you're doing it in Hindi, it'll give you that transcript in Hindi, in Urdu as well, English, Arabic, whatever language you are talking to it in, you can then get that transcript. I think that is fascinating. There are certain topics that are off bounds and out of limits with both chatbots. They don't get involved in a lot of political chatter which is good because you don't want any biases coming in. Also, if you're talking about any major international relations piece, they will then give you citations to perhaps do some fact-checking yourself. But when you want to have normal conversations, understand where you are. If I ask it, I want to be maybe in Lodi Garden and understand the history of Lodi Garden and then compare it to hanging gardens in Mumbai, all of that can be corrected in the conversation. Similarities can be drawn. You really need to understand prompt engineering. All of us need to upskill for the future. People around the world have been saying AI is just a fad, generative AI is just a fad. I don't think so. If you use Google Gemini, Gemini Live, and of course ChatGPT the right way, there is no limits to what you can achieve. So my two pens, download these free apps, toy with them, speak with them, understand what prompts are like, what input do you give, and what sort of output you can expect. How can you make workflows more efficient, more smoother, Talk to AI if you're ever scared like you would to a friend of ordinary or above ordinary intelligence. Also, these chatbots start understanding you when you have that conversation. Be wary of it. Don't reveal a lot of personal information, but try to understand what it is that perhaps you could get right with AI. Embrace it. And I think that is the future that we all really yearn for.